Today I'm gonna to share with you a concept that can drastically improve how your team performs and how your entire agency operates. If you've been using traditional job descriptions for your team, you might think they're doing the job, pun intended, but there's a much more effective way to set expectations and get a better performance from your team. We're gonna explore the difference between a traditional job description and a job scorecard, and why focusing on outcomes instead of tasks can make all the difference. Stick around if you wanna learn how to get your team more aligned, accountable, and performing at a higher level. Let's start with what most agencies are used to, traditional job descriptions. You've probably written or seen one before. It's usually a long list of tasks and responsibilities. It tells the team member what they're supposed to do, like manage client communication, create reports, attend meetings, fill up the toilet paper in the bathroom. Sounds reasonable, right? Well, here's the problem. A job description like this tells your team what they need to do but it doesn't tell them what they need to achieve. And when people focus too much on checking off tasks, they lose sight of the bigger picture. What are those tasks actually supposed to accomplish? Now let's talk about the alternative, a job scorecard. Unlike a traditional job description, a job scorecard focuses on outcomes, the actual results or objectives that the role is responsible for delivering. So instead of just saying schedule meetings or manage projects or restock the toilet paper, a scorecard would say complete X number of projects on time and within budget or achieve a 90% client satisfaction score or don't leave the CEO in the toilet without any toilet paper. See the difference? One is about checking off tasks and the other is about delivering results. And that shift in focus changes everything. So why should you consider switching to job scorecards in your agency? Well, let's break it down. First, a job scorecard sets very clear expectations. Everyone knows what success looks like because you're defining it with specific outcomes. This helps avoid any misunderstandings about what's expected and gives your team a clear target to aim for. Secondly, it increases accountability. Instead of saying, yay, I finished all my tasks, team members are now focused on whether they actually achieved the desired results. This creates a culture of ownership. People start caring more about the outcome than just doing the bare minimum. Third, performance reviews become a lot easier and more objective. With job scorecards, you're not reviewing someone based on vague impressions or task completion. You're measuring them against clear, predefined outcomes. This is much fairer and much more actionable. Rather than saying, you did a good job communicating, you can say you improved client satisfaction from 80% to 90%, which was your goal. It's a much more data-driven and useful approach. And finally, job scorecards help align your team's work with your overall business goals. When each role is tied to specific outcomes, you ensure that everyone is driving the agency forward in the same direction rather than just checking boxes. All right, now let's get tactical and practical. How do you actually create a job scorecard for your team? Well, here are four simple steps to get started. First, start by defining the purpose of the role. Ask yourself, why does this role exist? What's the impact it's supposed to have on the agency? This is your foundation. Next, list the key outcomes that the role is responsible for. Focus on measurable results. For example, if you're writing a scorecard for a marketing role, an outcome might be generate X number of qualified leads per month, not run Facebook ads and post on Twitter. Each outcome should have specific metrics or benchmarks attached to it, and this is what allows you to objectively measure success. For a sales role, for example, it could be close X percentage of leads. The more clear and measurable, the better. Finally, make sure each outcome aligns with the agency's overall goals, whether it's increasing revenue, boosting client satisfaction, improving project efficiency, every role should contribute to the bigger picture. Now, I get it, switching from job descriptions to scorecards can feel like a big change, but it doesn't have to happen all at once. Just start small. Pick one or two key roles in your agency, maybe your project manager or a sales rep, and create a scorecard for them. Once you see the difference it makes, you can start rolling it out for other roles. And over time, you'll notice that people become more focused on achieving results and your performance reviews become more straightforward and more productive. So here's your homework. Take one role in your agency, create a job scorecard for it, focus on the top two or three outcomes you expect from that person and set measurable goals implement it and see how it changes the way they approach their work. And a pro tip for you, include your team member in the creation of that job scorecard. They're much more likely to achieve the outcomes if they've got a say in what those outcomes are. Hey, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights on how to grow and scale your digital agency. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Are you using job scorecards in your agency or are you about to roll them out? Drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Troy Dean, let's get to work.